What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at River's Edge Cutlery. It has been way, way too long since I've taken a look at River's Edge Cutlery. If you are not familiar with River's Edge Cutlery, please familiarize yourself. They have some really, really cool exclusives. You guys know the Shavocado and the other avocado themed Spydercos. That's where these come from. If you've ever seen the Spydercos with the FDE blades and you're like, where the heck are those 204 PFDE blades coming from? It's River's Edge Cutlery, right? They also have, they've got way more than just really cool exclusive spider codes, but um, I'm going to link this page right down below. You guys probably know how this works, but if you don't, I'm going to go through what they've got in stock. I haven't actually looked at their new arrivals page or anything like that. So if you want to hear my thoughts, stick around. If not, you are perfectly welcome to just use the link in the description and check this stuff out for yourself. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, as is the case with most retailers right now, it looks like they've got some holiday season uh, deals going on. So make sure you check out this initial um, banner here. I don't know why we just went back to Google. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how the pad works on the uh, the the MacBook here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, click on the um, new arrivals page. So, oh, they did. Uh, I is this a thing that they've done for a little bit? Man, that's cool. I didn't know they did an all black eighty fifteen. Ooh, I kind of want to uh, buy one for myself now because they are one hundred and seventy dollars. Um, that's a good price for this. This is, this is, a, this is a kick-ass knife for sure. Um, and it's one of the strongest. I mean, this is a Demco premium cold steel, but Demco designed scorpion lock. If you're looking for a knife, you can, you know, actually EDC, like, you know, from cold steel and you don't want one of those ridiculous, like folding battle axes that they make. Um, the 8015 is actually uh, pretty pocket friendly as far as like a big knife goes and there is no way you're gonna disengage that lock. You will break the blade before you disengage that lock. Um, so there you go, go for it. The OD Green one's kind of cool too. And ooh, it has a bronze, uh, it has an avocado. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. I don't know if that's a River's Edge Cutlery thing or if that's a, the Cold Steel's just doing that, but that's cool. Hey, they have mini synapses just sitting here. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, so as far as all the synapses go, like, I, I, lo I love the larger ones, but whenever there are, like, a, whenever there's, like, a mama bear, papa bear, papa bear, baby bear kind of thing with knives, you know, kind of like how they, the XM, like, like the Hinder XM18, 3-inch, the 3.5-inch, and the 24. I love the 24, love the 3.5-inch, absolutely hate the 3-inch, at least with the flipper tabs. The non-flippers are better. Um, this one actually translates perfectly to a little knife, and it's because of this massive open area they have uh on the the handle scales you can definitely get a full four finger purchase on this knife if you want to really cool i love i love the synapse i uh um i own uh, i own a synapse and i own a um an isotype uh, an isotope but i would definitely buy another synapse in fact i am legitimately tempted by that as well lots of ultratech hellhounds floating around at retailers so that's cool Bark River Bravo 1, if you've been looking for that knife, there are a few, more than a few. There are a crap load. What's the, um, ooh, these are Magna Cut. All right, if you want a Bravo 1 and Magna Cut, I hope these are still there by, I'm recording this on a Friday afternoon. You guys are going to see it Saturday morning. Not going to list the, the Rockwell hardness, huh? Okay. You know, I, I don't know. Is Magna Cut a good fixed blade? No, I don't know. I'm not, uh. I'm not one with the bush. <laughs> <Just, laughs> Bushcraft. Sorry. Some I don't think about that stuff before I say it. New Finch stuff. That's cool. These are nice. Finch does a good job. Spiderco little little temperance three VG ten not for hundred and seventy six dollars. Um. All right. No, hold on. Let's just let's look. Hold on. Is it a compression lock? Show me the other, it is, yeah. Okay, but Spyderco, <laughs> these are made in Japan. That's not a $176 knife. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a, a no from me. These are cool. I've talked about these before. The Hogue Collector Series, 
This looks freaking awesome. Um, man, that is a good looking OTF. And it's in Magna Cut. These are US made, carbon fiber, anodized, well, maybe heat treated hardware, maybe anodized titanium hardware. Um, $339 is just fine. That's a full size OTF2, 8.5 inches overall with a 3.25 inch blade. So think Microtech, Ultratech, right? Um, Hogue is, to my knowledge, heat treating their Magna Cut correctly. And when I say correctly, I mean higher, like in the upper, like at least on their decas, I'm pretty sure they hit that 62 to 64 that people are wanting. Still, uh, there's a sapphire runt here. I think uh, we've been seeing these around. If you're wanting to check out something from Protec and the sapphire uh, PVD, uh, there's one right there. Very cool. Protec whiskers, a uh, whole bunch of Protex, a whole bunch of Microtex. Uh, River's Edge Cutlery is another um, retailer that does a great job of stocking Microtex. <gasps> no, man, I keep getting excited thinking um, that there's it's a bronze combat Troodon. I am desperately seeking and I don't you know if you have one you know I so I know people always reach out and say I have I'll sell this to you I want I want to buy one brand new from a retailer um but I want a combat troodon in this exact setup <laughs> the troodon's fine I just want the bigger one um I've been looking for that knife for years <laughs> it's, I just can't find it um very cool uh extra scales for the lander um which is great because these are 20 bucks uh, ooh, shaman scales. These are nice. Ooh, that's nice. I like the minty green. Uh, are these um, these models will not fit lightweight models? Or li these scales will not. Oh wait, is this for the lil? The shaman slant. The shaman. There's no lightweight shaman, is there? No, there's no lightweight shaman. Where are these made? Oh, fireside Terra Tough. Those look cool. And I bet they would be awesome um, on uh, on a shaman. They got a whole bunch. Looks like they make scales for the uh, pair of three, and these are slim scales as well. So it's going to make it a little less chunky, which is that's good for the the pair of three. PM two, Manix two, very cool. Shave soap. There you go. A uh, bunch of heretics. Oh, they have titanium scales for the eclipse. I think those are. I think those are pretty widely available now. You can get those all over the place. More dam design stuff. Those are also good knives at sixty bucks. Yeah, there's even a premium one there for one sixty. That's a great price. The Cerberus. Let's look at this. The gentleman behind dam designs is a really really nice guy. And you know, the first time I handled one of these knives was years ago. This is a cool design. Um, titanium. Uh, does it have... Let me, I'm going to look at the other side. Ooh, ooh. It's a recessed liner lock. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. 8.12 inches, 3.5 inch blade, CPM s 35 vn That's a great price. That's an awesome knife. Yeah. I, I like these. I have a few reviews on uh, many of these designs, and they're very good. The tacks are all over the place. You can find these now. That's a pretty cool uh, knife for sure. I've talked about those before. Some kitchen knives. Not super into kitchen knives. Lots of Bark River stuff. Uh, they have, obviously, they have a, a good CVV selection. Um, Focusworks F2 in copper. Focusworks, really. These are cool flashlights. I've never handled them, but they, I always thought that they looked really cool. More lander scales. I think what, um, ooh, there's a, uh, a, a Model 18. These are getting hard to find now. They're pricey, uh, definitely. But remember, you can't see it here, but he's got an orange peel texture on this titanium. These are Riot made. This is an integral, meaning the scale is all one piece of titanium. The carbon fiber, I own one of these. I own the crazy one in Damasteel and uh, Mocha Tai. Uh, and it's S90V. So at least if we're going to get up here in price, Leong Ma's going full send and giving us all the good stuff, right? You're going to spend 680 big boys, which is a term that I'm just using now, uh, on a knife, then, you know, you're getting a lot. Uh, did I go back a page? 
What happened? Yeah, I went back a page. You're getting a lot there. Oh, I didn't go back a page. It just hasn't. I, I just went down and it, it wasn't fully populated. But yeah, you're getting a lot there. Um, I like the Model 18 a lot. I very much enjoy that. Sorry, let me get back to where we were. Uh, holy moly, I was way down here. I should probably get... The Bravo 1 is a super popular fixed blade, and I don't review a lot of fixed blades, but you guys always tell me how great they are, so maybe I should get a hold of one. Fisher refills, Fisher pins. There's an auto uh, McNeese PM Mach 2. What is the material on the scale? Because that the handle scales are aluminum. If the handle scales were titanium, I would buy that. I really wish that they would make. There's not enough. Bless America. There are not enough. Um, titanium side opening automatic knives and i know that it's because of like how autos impact but i feel like i'm flipping my titanium frame locks super hard like as hard or harder than automatic knives generally deploy and you know if companies or people are worried about the impact of the blade on the um titanium my uh tight it's an old one from like 2015 i have a titanium um smg from uh from uh, protec and it's an automatic and it is completely fine totally solid after a thousand deployments hinderer hardware uh utx 70 in is that a copper wash no it's apocalyptic bronze still very intrigued by the attention to detail mk1 uh, would still like to get a hold of one of those Mm, these are crazy cool. The the Alpha, uh, the SOCOM Alpha Mini and the SOCOM Alpha, whatever the big one is called. There's a combat Troodon in red and bronze. Come on, Microtech, make a black one. That's really cool right there. That'll get snagged up, I'm sure. They got a stitch here. You take 70 bronze. Is that a Makora in bronze? Nice. More hinderer hardware. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think there's probably, I don't know how many, how, how far down I want to go, but I just, it's been a long time since I've scrolled through, um, at least on a video, a whole bunch of the Vitornox uh, classics with various colors. Man, they, they sell a lot of different stuff here. If you're looking for Eclipse uh, hardware sets, they have a few here. What is this? Oh, Ridge Wallet, okay. I should get a Ridge. You guys all made fun of me for my... For my wallet. Hey, Ridge Wallet. <laughs> Not that they would watch. There's a sponsorship that I would accept because I don't review wallets. <laughs> um, there's the uh, Invictus AT in titanium. I've seen a few of these floating around getting restocked. Once they once these sell, like, you know, they, they sold out on the website. They sold out on other retailers. Once all of the retailers that have put in order for these once they sell out, they're going to be gone for a long time again. That's just what happens with those. They do not make those things in massive batches, and they definitely don't, you know, they don't make enough of them to keep. That. I don't, I'm sure that they're limited in production capacity, but they don't make enough of those, right? The blades, it's my understanding, the blades, the Teravantian blades are made in the United States, and the rest of the knife is made by, they, they outsource it. I'm not sure exactly who. Chavez 229 Sangri. And 229 Liberation in stock. Terax. Oh, yeah, that's right. I reviewed that. Okay. Hmm. Continuing, continuing. Yeah, there's a three-inch titan. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Three-inch smooth titanium scale. Textured micarta for the XM24. I think those are fairly easy to find. That's a cool combat troid on black and blue. Uh, I'm really glad that Microtech is pumping out more of those, uh, just all of their knives in various colors. That's kind of an interesting fixed blade there, a little EDC cleaver. Uh, more Hodecas, more Civivis. Looking for something weird to catch my eye here. Some uh, Protec SBR in knurled uh, aluminum. That's a cool one for sure. Moving on, moving on. What do we got here? Tour Knives Cryptia. SE4, SE3. I like the SE3. I wish the handle was a little longer. SE5s. Micarta XM24 scale. I had that exact scale 
um, on an eclipse one time, and that smooth micarta that hindered us is really nice. Oh boy, Opinels. <laughs> Can't say I'm a huge fan. Lots of Bradford Guardians, various, I'm sure various sizes. Boker Plus. For a second there, I thought that was a Les George. Uh, compact ATC and carbon fiber. I think those have been more readily available. Did we reach the bottom of the page? Let's do show more. I just want to see what else we've got here. Hmm. Giant Mouse Ace Nazca. Interesting. So they're doing their own bar lock. I don't know how long they've been doing that. Sprint Custom. Hmm. Uh, rock Walls. It's always a great, the, the Rock Walls is a great knife. Half Breed. Is that like a short blade? Like an, a, it's like a, is that like a Cali Legal Auto? Yeah. Under two inches. So there you go. I think people have been aware of that for a long time. Boker Tiger Damascus. Ooh, that's kind of a cool. Um, the Exocet Jedi Master in green is kind of cool. Those are really pricey. <laughs> but, uh, the, you know, they're cool if that's what you're looking for. Serrated Shaman, I guess, if you're looking for that. Let's keep going. Backpacks. I don't know a lot about bags, and I don't have enough of a use for a, a bag or a satchel or any of that uh, to, you know, justify buying one. Lots of Chevaliers. The Hogue Ballista is one of the most underrated USA automatic knives on the market right now. That thing is ridiculously good. If you're looking for a new auto and you've exhausted the, you know, the Protex, um, then uh, check out the Hogue Ballista. I really enjoyed that one. You can check out my review if you want. Compact ATC and Titanium. Cyber Monday sale. Spider Code Delica 4 Warncliffe for 78 bucks. I believe those are in a different steel than VG10. But I'm hesitant to click on it because it's going to reset me. Eh, Benchmade Mini Boost. Obviously, Demco 8020.5s are readily available. Protec SBR Lefty. Little Native. In S30V, that's reasonably priced for a USA-made knife. That's G10, not the lightweight version. Those are cool. Are those Lego textured? <laughs> what? Oh, that's kind of, that's cool. I never even thought about that. The Lego texturing would work really well. <laughs> that's neat. I like that a lot. <laughs> ah, White River. That's kind of cool. That's a sweet looking fixed blade right there. Obviously, I don't know much about these when I say that's sweet looking. It's just <laughs> I'm commenting on the picture. More backpacks. Show me more. Show me more. Whole bunch of this is chroma scales. These are uh, very inexpensive at $34. I'm going to guess. I don't know. I'm going to guess they're not made in the United States. They come with the, uh, the lanyard barrel too. Look at those. Those are unique. What's the material? Wood? Or wait. These are just like printed images though. Right? So what is the actual material? Hmm. I don't know. There's another Jedi Master Exocet. set. Still kind of a mystery how they get away with the copyright on that, but that is not my, not my, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not something that, Matt, my comments on that don't matter is what I'm trying to say here. Hogue OTFs, I've seen those. Really curious about this guy. I should really check that out for review. That's an expensive slip joint, but it is Teravantium to my knowledge. So uh, dendritic cobalt, so rust proof blade material. Lots of Victorinox. I'm going to do a couple more of these page extenders here. Lots of Leathermans. If you don't own a multi tool, there are just there are simply times where a a a. a <laughs> folding knife <laughs> a folding knife is not enough um a, a, it's always a good idea to have a, a leatherman something or a, a swiss uh the the victorinox spirit tool uh, is also a good alternative in fact i i prefer it over the wave um stretch 2 xl in vg10 eh, i don't like to see vg10 anywhere near 100 bucks let alone over I would stay away from these. Um, if you could only bring one knife, it wouldn't be this. I have handled this and I am not a fan. 
Um, and I am pretty glass half full, as I'm sure you are all very much aware. Mm, let's do one more, and then I think that's good. I just want to see if they've got anything buried. It's always good to go as far as you can, because sometimes they have little treasures buried. A lot of good stuff, though. There's lots of uh, there's lots of stuff. A lot of reasons to visit um, Rivers Edge Cutlery specifically. Come on, one more. I'm just <laughs> I feel like I'm doing the slot machine here. <laughs> I'm just looking for something to jump out and grab me. Uh, some of these bokers really are tempting. I have never reviewed a boker. So are the Ridge wallets, honestly. All right. Um, what I would like to do, let me reload this page so I don't scroll all the way back up to the top. What I would like to do is check out their exclusives real quick to see. Um, how do you get to the, we got coming soon. We'll check out their coming soon page here real quick. Oh, there's. Something just popped up that said exclusives. Obviously, the full immunity and the and the autoimmunity are, uh, or the partial immunity, autoimmunity, and full immunity are coming. Where was that tab that said um, they're exclusives? Uh, I just saw it. Is that the bottom? Where'd it go? Rivers Edge Kelly, where do I find your exclusives? I really want to know where I can find your exclusives. Hmm. I feel like they used to have it listed like right at the top. Am I just missing it? New arrivals. Oh, oh. <laughs> Something popped down just for a moment. I feel like every time I reload the page, there's something that pops up that hints at like an exclusives tab. Site map. Okay. Well, I don't know where it is. But I know they have exclusives here. <laughs> How do you spell exclusive? Here we go. Brian Brown Raptor. What? They did an exclusive XM24? I don't know if this is actually populating correctly. In any case, there are plenty of new arrivals at Rivers Edge Cutlery that you guys should check out. I think they're pretty cool. Like I said, this page will be linked in the description so you can check this stuff out for yourself. I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.